Hi, everybody. Welcome back. So today we're going to do some emotional freedom techniques, some tapping together. And our focus today is going to be a time when you didn't feel heard or you weren't listened to in your relationship, whether that be your family relationship or your personal intimate relationship. Because have you ever felt unheard? I mean, how annoying and how disheartening can that be? So before we start, let's run the show reel. Okay, just a quick consideration before we get started. Please, 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 no tapping on traumas, no tapping on anything that's so overwhelming that it gives you a panic attack or anything like that. That's why we're staying real light to start till you get used to doing tapping for yourself. You can also go to my website, touchremedies.com or natureofrelationships.com and find the PDF tapping sheet and resources under free stuff all my tapping videos, all my tapping classes, so you can learn how to do it really, really clearly for yourself. Okay. So today, our focus is on the time where you didn't feel heard or you weren't listened to. So take a piece of paper and a pen, write down a time or event, a moment in time, specifically when you did that, when they did that, right? Like, so maybe they don't listen to you all the time for the last 38 years you've been together, right? Maybe you never feel listened to. But if you tap on that, that's like thinking of like all the times you ran out of money or all the times you got frustrated or all like it's too much for the brain. And so even though we can tap on general things and it can calm it down, we're going to get longer, more permanent effects if we tap on specific situations. And you'll actually find that by tapping on one specific situation or maybe two or maybe three that really stand out, it will clear more out of your brain for most people. Okay. So even if you are thinking about all the times, just think about a time specifically. Maybe it's last Wednesday or last night. Okay? So write it down. When was it? What, what was happening? I didn't listen. And now think about how you feel about it right now, thinking about it. Are you frustrated or annoyed or irritated or feeling unloved or feeling unworthy? Maybe you're feeling, you know, I'm done with this, you know, like just over it. Not quite an emotion, but you can still use that if that's like the only words that you come up with, okay? So write that down. So you've got your situation or your event, your emotion that you feel about it right now, because I can't change how I felt back then. I can only change how I feel about it right now. Rate your emotion from zero to 10, so you know if things are moving. So zero meaning it doesn't even bother me, and then we're not going to tap on it, right? But we're trying to get to zero. All the way up to 10, meaning it's super overwhelming. Okay, so write it down. And then scan your body. Where in your body, if anywhere, is it? Is it in your chest, in your head, in your stomach? Do you feel lightness? Maybe you don't feel it anywhere, and that's okay. If you don't feel it anywhere, just skip that part. And so now what's going to happen is I'm going to bring you through tapping, use an example of a time that I wasn't listening to. Once you've got that written down, you can either set it aside because your brain knows what you're working on, And you can just repeat after me, which is great. Like if you're driving, then you can just use my words. You don't have to worry about writing anything down. You can just think about it. Or you can replace my words with your words, your event, your situation, your emotion. Okay. Either way, it's going to be beneficial. Okay. So here we go. So tapping on the side of the hand, it doesn't matter what side you tap on. Okay. It doesn't matter what order you do it in. So I might do it a little different order than anyone else. Okay. So repeat after me, even though. When I think about last Friday and I told him what all the plans were for the weekend. And then a half an hour later, he asked me what was happening in the weekend. He obviously didn't listen to me. I feel annoyed in my stomach, but I'm open to letting this go. So even though when I think about last Friday, when I told him about the plans for the weekend he asked me later what the plans were he didn't listen at all I feel annoyed in my stomach and I accept that I feel this way even though when I think about last Friday I told him about the plans for the weekend and then later he asked me 
What are the plans for the weekend? Like he didn't listen at all. Feels so annoyed in my stomach. And I deeply and completely accept myself. Okay, so top of the head. Feeling annoyed in my stomach. Between the eyes, feeling annoyed in my stomach. Side of the eyes, you can use one hand or both. Feeling annoyed in my stomach. Under the eyes, feeling annoyed in my stomach. Under the nose, feeling annoyed in my stomach. Under the mouth, feeling annoyed in my stomach. Under the collarbones, feeling annoyed in my stomach. And under the arms, feeling annoyed in my stomach. Great, you can take a breath, you can have a little bit of water. Now look back and notice what's changed. So how strong is the emotion? Did it change? Did it get less? Sometimes it gets more. If it's okay, if it gets more, then just keep tapping. Did it change body parts or did the emotion change? So write down, thinking about that same situation. What's the emotion now? Where in your body is it? How intense is that? Okay, that meaning the emotion. And we're going to do another round. So you're going to do this just again. Even though when I think about last Friday, when I told him about our plans, and then he asked me later what the plans were, I feel angry in my chest because he doesn't listen to me. And I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though when I think about last Friday, when I told him about the plans for the weekend, and then he asked me what they were, I feel angry in my chest. And I'm open to letting this go. So even though when I think about last Friday, I gave him details about all the plans for the weekend. And like a half an hour later, he asked me what the plans were for the weekend. He didn't listen to me. And I feel angry in my chest. And I accept I feel this way. Top of the head, feeling angry in my chest. Between the eyes, feeling angry in my chest. Out of the eyes, feeling angry in my chest. Under the eyes, feeling angry in my chest. Under the nose, feeling angry in my chest. Under the mouth, feeling angry in my chest. Under the collarbones, feeling angry in my chest under the arm feeling angry in my chest all right take a breath reset recenter you're going to do this over and over again on your event or using this event until your intensity is at a zero or at least underneath a three okay if another time that you weren't listened to comes up like maybe a time your mom didn't listen to you, your best friend didn't listen to you or your boss didn't listen to you write that down and use that as your next situation to tap on. And feel free to keep rewinding this video, watching it over and over again, thinking about all the different times, all the different people that you weren't listened to by and help clear that completely. So that way you can really step into that feeling listened to. Because remember, you are loved, you are loving, you are lovable. You deserve to feel listened to. And clearing this emotion, clearing these emotions, these situations, will help you have more compassion, empathy outwards, and less for yourself. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.